It's okay, right? Yeah, it's Similar. Because they use the same gear pump. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Slayer is an uh, individual, I uh, know the Slayer. Sineso is a uh, big um, rotary pump. Every group, one pump, big pump. Oh. Mm. And uh, this Dalakota is the same Slayer. Similar. I will talk after this to compare. We move to flow oh. to see how the pressure change. Then we combine everything together. How is the coffee? Sour? Sour. The body? Weak? Finish? Everyone? Huh? Oh, not yet? Okay. How many shot more? Okay. Then we move to the night bar of this coffee.
So everyone get the six bar of the light rolls already. Finish, 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 finish. Okay, finish. Right? Six bar, light rolls. Okay. So go to the KM. Go to the nine bar. Then we move to after this. We move into another part of pressure profile, not controlled by pump, controlled by flow rate. Yeah, the white machine yes. uh, work similar theory like Slayer. Bar. Medium light rolls. Focus on the flavor and the acidity. Nine second. So in this coffee, we are consider one more thing is the roasting level. The because of the roasting level, the Ethiopian bean are more dense. So when you grind. Same 19 gram, 19 gram. The Ethiopian are more dense, so it look lesser. Yeah. And the extraction time, nine bar for the medium light rolls, 39 second, and six bar 44. So it still follow the same idea moving. What practice for uh, Australia uh, cafe? Twenty eight yeah. second is a correct time, right? Okay. Not uh, thirty nine. Okay. Today we very uh, fast. Same uh, question. <laughs>
uh, enough, right? Everyone have already. Who don't try the night bar yet? After this shot, then uh, enough. Hmm. Okay. Okay, compare. Light rose. Is the contrast is bigger than dark rose? What is the biggest part different? Acidity and sweetness. Yeah, acidity and sweetness. Which one better? Yeah, six bar better. Longer contact time. The lighter coffee you go, high density, lighter. Because light rose coffee always high density. You need to have a longer contact time in total. So the only way you can do is, you cannot grind finer. Grind finer, you will feel over extract you need to control pressure or flow. Yeah. So if you have light rolls, you want to do espresso, the only way is improve your machine. Uh, because uh, the crema is more also. <laughs> mm. You can see the crema different. The six bar away very thin. Mm. Three bar? Uh, it will start to feel bitter. <laughs> I I try already, so six bar is still okay. okay. So, any question about? Medium light rolls with pressure changing. Twenty-eight, ah? Why? Why just now is thirty-nine? Ah, uh, they give me the U is more okay. Twenty-eight. Sorry. Hmm. Big different when the density is different. Yes. No, nine bar and six bar. So the pre infusion just happened by natural. We don't control it. We just let the six bar and the pre infusion happen by themselves. So they take longer time also. And nine bar, you can understand because the pressure is high, they will push the coffee faster. So they will happen faster. Ah, okay. Good question. <laughs> uh, so he asked, how long we know we, how we do pre-infusion? So based on this, pre-infusion is mean the time you give the water on the headspace. This stage we call pre-infusion. So pre-infusion stage is actually very short. It can be happen in three or four seconds only. Yeah, depend on your machine flow rate. If your water is fast, it one second finish. If you can control the flow rate slower, it can three four second and infusion. So before you move, you want to make the pressure profile. Before you increase your pressure, you need to make sure the coffee is wet. Mean your pressure go to the maximum of the pre-infusion pressure you set. 
Let's say you set 5 bar. You need to make sure your coffee pressure also go up to 5 bar. Then you start to increase pressure again. Yeah. If not, before the coffee pressure reach to the pressure you set, then you increase, there's no point. Then why don't you just set higher <laughs> to let it automatic go up? Or you wait too long for pre-infusion. You will easily get, get over extract. So try to increase the pressure before the coffee extract. Mean the coffee pressure reach to your setting, then you increase pressure. Yeah. The the coffee start to drop out. Before drop out, mean you see the coffee start to drip, the first drip, push pressure up. Yeah. That is the most easy way to manage. And second thing you can control is your grind size. So if you want to do pre-infusion, you need to go finer. Yeah. But again, finer for dark rose, more bitter. <laughs> so dark rose coffee actually, no need. <laughs> okay, please ask. Okay, okay, okay. So now we move to we move to flow. Okay. It's the same idea. Pre infusion mean uh you give okay, like you do pour over, right? The time, like you use 10 seconds to brew how many gram water for pre-infusion, that is pre-infusion. The time you wait for bloom is called infusion. <laughs> ah, pre-wetting means they push some water out with pressure or no pressure and wait. They will stop and then wait. So they try to do pre-infusion yeah, with another way. Yeah. But they still push to nine bar later. <laughs> mm. Okay. That one you can do manually. Sometimes, if if you not get very familiar with extraction, sometimes you test a new bean, you grind too fine, and you don't have the machine like this. Normally, what I do is I press water and stop. Then press water, the pressure go up, but the coffee not come out. I stop again. I try to wait the coffee wet. So I can sometimes stop two to three times. So I don't want to waste the coffee. It's just for drink. <laughs> hmm. So this is I call manual way. Not not the best solution because this way you have no repeat repeatable, cannot repeat. You don't know how to repeat it. But uh, for drinking yourself, sometimes don't want to waste coffee, it's okay. <laughs> hmm? 